Hollywood is seeing a new strike this summer over AI, this time over work in video games. Striking game voice actors and motion capture performers held their first picket on Thursday, in front of Warner Brothers Games saying that AI is a threat to their careers. Chief negotiator at sag after Duncan Crabtree Island is at the forefront of the operation. The strike follows failed labor negotiations with game developers focused on AI protections and follows similar strikes last year surrounding film and television. The gaming strikes began last week. Among other sticking points is lack of recognition for motion capture actors, whose likenesses are already being fed into AI systems. You don't know that I have done these characters because I'm not attached to it. Right? The decision to strike follows months of negotiations with major video game companies. However, analysts have said that major publishers like Electronic Arts and Take-Two will likely stave off a big hit from the strike due to their in-house studios and the lengthy development cycles for games. The No Fakes Act, a bipartisan bill in Congress which would make it illegal to make an AI replica of someone's likeness and voice without their permission, has gained support from the SAG-AFTRA Performers Union, the Motion Picture Association, the Recording Academy and Disney. Several global figures have said AI are an urgent policy issue, from Taylor Swift to Vice President Kamala Harris, the presumptive Democrat nominee in this year's U.S. election. Well, everyone, it's been a minute. It's been some months now. It's been a minute. How y'all all doing? I hope y'all doing well. Um, Luffy had to come back, man. I, I ain't gonna lie, but uh, some things have been going on. Things have been rumbling. I don't know what be going on with Persona Twitter, man. I, I literally don't know. It be having 10.0 magnitude earthquakes, and I be feeling it all the way over here. I, I don't know, chat. It like, it be crazy. Currently, right now, there's a whole um voice actor strike going on right now and in the video game industry i think i've seen it like weeks ago but i really didn't think about it too deep like i wasn't thinking at that time but now I, i've really researched into it and yeah it's about ai and stuff but uh yeah let's talk about it we're gonna get into it right now first can i just pay respect to all voice actors in gaming because y'all be cooking man like especially the one i want to talk about today from persona 3 um don bennett cooking man i i don't know what to say man like that Woo! I chat like I mean, but not for real. I, I'm doing this no script, no nothing. So this is all the type of dome. Like voice actors in, in, in AI, they they, they not compete, bro. Like what a voice actor can do, like I don't care what an AI, I don't care what an AI the technology, I don't care how good it gets. It's not replacing the authentic and genuine feel of a voice actor in the game because man, they be cooked. If I hear an AI in a bro. No, we're not finna. we not finna have that. We're not finna have AI voice actors in movies and games. No, we're not finna do it. No, that's not. That's what the line needs to draw right there. I'm out there with the signs. With like, can you imagine like living in a world where AI is in your movies? Like genuinely, we're getting into apocalypse territory. At like that point. we genuinely do not need that. That's a dangerment to society. Like I, I, I can get YouTube. Okay, YouTube. That YouTube is a platform that has all type of stuff. So. That's okay. But like, come on, yo. Like, like, what we talking about media? We talking about come on. We talking about cinema. Let's let's keep the AI far the hell away. I don't know. People were letting me know that my YouTube channel was getting leaked on Twitter to some type of boast about AI and people not liking AI and stuff. So I wanted to check it out. Yeah, it turned out to be I guess voice actor for Persona 3 Reload. And yeah, what the what, what the said? I, I mean. I understand it but like honestly yeah let, let's talk about it so this tweet is a couple days old i'm kind of in kind of late but yeah i mean i seen it when i seen it and i want to talk about it when so I this seen is what it is as you can clearly see the tweet reads at ai voices to make immediate content is lazy the content is usually even lazier and you miss the old days of youtube poops and remixes people use existing lines and put them together instead I, I, like that, that's a tough pill to swallow i mean like i get it i get it personally but like it comes off the wrong way like i mean you could have just said this entirely different way where it doesn't come off this way it comes off it's like that hating youtuber <laughs> he hating 
EA, me EA, the, the, the hating YouTube rival. Like, I get it. If you don't like AI content, that's you. I, that's more power to you. I do not, like, I totally get it. You don't like AI content. That's fine. That's fine. Some people don't like pepperoni on their pizza. Some people don't like Marvel movies. Some people don't like anime. Some people don't like drawing. Some people don't like this, that, any type of genre of this. Like, I, I, I feel like if you just don't, just say you don't like it and it's like, just say that but then like taking shots at every person that uses ai is crazy because like when this thing first came out i swear even like mainstream youtubers were using it bro like it's crazy like all these ever were was to be funny and fun and i get that you feel like your job might be in risk which Hey, why why not just call out the company? Why why come f exactly just for the creators that make it? But you they, like you don't come for the company in the tweet. You don't come for the people that made these tools. You just come for the creators and come for them and call them lazy because they're using something that was put on the internet. And like, what do you expect them to do? And it, it's something that people like. I mean, whether you you don't like it or not, it's okay. But I know a whole bunch of other people that do and like i said not all this ai content is saying there's definitely there's definitely content in there there's all like every type of content there's the good great content of it and then there's a lower lazy tier content of it. like uh it is what it is every content has that i mean it's not all bad and i've seen ai used effectively in great ways and and, and, and people are using it differently now than how they were. Like, this thing hasn't even been around for, like, one, two years. Like, what people were doing it, like, a year ago is not what they're doing with it right now. So, I mean, like, I know it, it, it gets even more scarier. But we, we got to put restrictions on for the companies, man. We, we got to come for them. You can't come for the creators. Like, you going to take away that now? Come on, man. I don't know. I, like, I feel like there's a lot of people that got enjoyment out of AI content. If you have before, please let me know in the comments below. Like, I want to know your opinion. Like, I get that AI content can be looked at. If you don't like it, I get it. I understand. I'm not going to argue and try to say in whatever way to try to change your mind on it. It is what it is. But there is people that do, and there's a lot of people that do. So, so I, you don't have to say all this hateful, toxic energy to the people that like the content. Like, wh like, what do you like? Why? What are you gaining? That? I also get that this technology could train um, from all the work that we put in, all the creators having this stuff. It's training the technology to be used at higher levels and stuff. But at that point, are we really gonna get mad at the creators when that's not their intention? Are we not gonna get mad? Are we not gonna talk about the people that want to do that intention to have it on higher levels and to take people's jobs for the, and, and use it for easier tactics and stuff and scheme? Like, come, why, why, why come for the creators? Like, it don't make to me. It just sounds like a boomer tweet. I miss the PS2. <laughs> it comes off like I miss the PS2 game. I miss I miss the PS2 era, man. I, I miss when games used to be, man. I I remember the days when games used to be. It, it comes off that way, and they're just like, it's a new era. Things change. It's okay. You can still and it's, and content still exists. The PS2 still exists. You can still play those games. They still exist. You can still enjoy them just like how you enjoyed them back then. It still exists. Do y'all remember when reaction content was like starting to pop off? Remember how everybody used to react about reaction content and say how it was so like cheap and lazy and co and corny and just bottom tier content? You know how much re bad people don't even bat an eye about reaction content no more. It's just accepted. It's just normal entertainment now. I feel like AI content is in that phase where people are just bashing it, just how they did with reaction content. People made whole channels of just reacting off things and people felt some type of way because they felt it was lazy anybody can make a reaction like come on anybody. but i'm done rambling i ain't a rambler i'm done yapping we've been yapping way too long enough uh shout out to don bennett i'm, I'm sorry if it can, any of these words came out the wrong way because i appreciate your work in persona 3 reload i appreciate everybody's voice actor and i really really i'm against like having that type of stuff in games and media and all my I, I need I need AI out of that keep it on YouTube keep it on your little TikToks keep it there I don't need it in my games all right everybody boofy out AI